Hello, I'm Philip Brunel, Artistic Director and Founder of Vocal Essence and Organist Choir Master at Plymouth Congregational Church in Minneapolis. Well, today it's a composer that I know many of you knew about, and you knew his name, Norman Luboff. Born in 1917, died in 1987. He was not only an arranger of music, he was a conductor and a publisher. Born in Chicago, did graduate work with the eminent Chicago composer Leo Sowerby. He was in the U.S. Army Signal Corps. He then went to Hollywood and over the course of his life was involved in radio, involved in 80 movies. He worked with people like Bing Crosby, Frank Sinatra, Joe Stafford. He was chorus man for the Dinah Shore Show. In 1950, he founded Walton Music, the idea being that he knew a number of Swedish composers whose music was totally unknown in the USA, and he wanted people here to know about it. And he really is the man responsible for a resurgence and the awareness of Swedish composers' music coming to the USA. In 1950s, he also founded the Norman Luboff Choir, a fantastic organization, a choir of singers that toured all over the USA for 30 years. They did 75 LPs and were known, well, everywhere. Uh, a great and wonderful choir, not only for the range of music they did, but the quality of the way they sang. In 1956, with Harry Belafonte, they were involved with a piece called Calypso, which in that time was amazing. It sold one million albums. He arranged hundreds of pieces of music, and it was, of course, my great pleasure to know Norman Luboff in his later years, and to know his wife Gunilla, who I still correspond with, and she lives now in Sweden. So, he, so much music of his. I have just taken a few of them to get a feeling of it. I think one of the things I loved about it is he would take a familiar melody, but then what he did with that melody. So, for instance, here is his arrangement of Good Night Ladies we're going to leave you now. And it starts out very simple, the way we know of this melody. And then in two parts, women, men, changes key and becomes very sentimental. Probably his most famous Christmas piece is an Austrian carol that he arranged, which in his arrangement, it sounds very much like lovely little tinkle bells going. It's the song, Still, Still, Still. We've done it a number of times at Vocal Essence in our Welcome Christmas concerts.
and then there's another verse similar, and then the little drops out, and then we just hear the singers giving us this a cappella. And then finally, on the last measures of it, we hear the little bells come back in. He also set a set of songs that he called the Ways of Love, using some music from the 16th century. And again, this one set, as he said, as a pavan, an old uh, medieval dance form. So the choir begins a cappella. sing a piece of his that I have performed actually a number of times at the Minnesota State Fair when we've been there is a little piece called Vigolin. And it's a sweet little thing about a man playing the violin. So you have the choir going. And you have this accompaniment of And it tells the little story about the man, and you finally get to the end of the song, and you have the uh, familiar melody in the piano. Music of Norman Luboff. Have a wonderful day.